hey what's going on guys let's see how we can do this problem right here the question is asking find the length of the curve x is equal to square root of 3 36 minus y square going from negative 6 to 6 right so let's see how we can find this so first of all let's put the arc length formula arc length formula is l is equal to integral a to b and uh, here is in, in terms of y so let's put c to d so here this is going from c to d square root of 1 plus x prime square dy right so that's going to be the equation first let's go ahead and find the derivative of this one x prime so we can write this one as 36 minus y square power half square root uh, power half same thing so let's uh, find the derivative of this one if you find the derivative that's going to give us half 36 minus y square power minus half right and then this is going to be a chain rule so this is outside derivative and the inside derivative is going to be 2 negative 2y so this is going to be negative 2y right here and let's simplify so here if you notice we can cancel this 2 and this negative 2 and that's going to give, leave us with a negative y so the, we are going to have negative y on the top and the, if you bring this one to the denominator this is going to be plus half that is same as, that is same as 36 minus y square square root now this is x prime but we need x prime square right so to find that one we just square this one so x prime square is going to give us y square because negative y square you will get a positive y square right so y square and then if you square this one that's going to cancel the square root so we are going to get 36 minus y square so that's going to be in the denominator now let's go ahead and plug it in this equation okay so we are going to have integral and limits of integration is already provided minus 6 to 6 so let's plug them one right here this is going from minus 6 to 6 integral 1 plus x prime square is going to be this value that is y square divided by 36 minus y square dy now I can take the common denominator so this is going to be minus 6 6 if I take the common denominator as 36 minus y square we are going to multiply this one on top too so we are going to have 36 minus y square plus y square and this y square this y square cancels and we are going to have minus 6 to 6 36 over 36 minus y square and this 36 I can bring this one out because it's the same as 6 square right and if you square root, square root this one that's going to give us 6 so we can bring that 6 to the outside and write it in front and this is going to be minus 6 to 6 1 over 36 minus y square so this is what we have now if you notice whenever we have 1 over uh, numbers with this can be written as 6 integral negative 6 to 6 1 over 6 square minus y square so whenever we have this pattern square root of 1 over a square minus u square and if you integrate this one that's going to give us sine inverse u over a so this is the way to integrate so here we have this one right here so this is same pattern right we have number a, a represent the number number square minus y square so we can do the integration in same way so here we are going to have let's use a different color so here we are going to have 6 and if we integrate this one that's going to give us sine inverse sine inverse y over a is 6 so we we are going to have sine inverse y over 6 so this is going to be our integral now that's going from negative 6 to 6 negative 6 to 6 now we have to apply the value so here we are going to have sine inverse 6 over 6 minus sine inverse negative 6 over 6 so in this one 
we are going to have in the first one we are going to have sine inverse 1 so let's continue this one right here in the first one we are going to have sine inverse 1 and in the second one we are going to have sine inverse negative 1 right so this is what we are going to have and sine inverse 1 we know that is pi by 2 so this is going to be pi by 2 right here minus and this is going to be sine inverse negative 1 is going to be negative 5 by 2 and if we simplify this one this is going to give us 5 by 2 plus 5 by 2 and if we add them together that's going to give us 6 times 2 5 by 2 and here 2 2 cancels finally we end up with 6 pi and that's going to be the length of this curve and that's how we do these kind of problems. I hope you guys find this video helpful. See you next time.